Captain, these Sable guys look like they forced all the residents out of a building so they could occupy it themselves. And locked up the ones who objected. Okay, that I can get something done about. But I need victims to come forward. I'll get the people out and have them file reports with the police. Literally didn't see that coming. like not to have anywhere to stay. It's a good thing these Sable agents have body armor, because I just might lose my temper. Tango is active. Man down. 
Drama. And for what? Captain, the people that were locked up are headed back to their homes. Good. And I finally convinced the mayor's office that making constituents homeless was not good for his poll number, so they won't be pulling that stunt again. Spider-Man, good news. The mayor finally cracked the whip on Sable International. No more locking up New Yorkers without due process of law. Guess they figured out it was a PR disaster. For once, we got a clean win. Well, not quite. I hear rank-and-file Sable agents blame you for stopping the gravy train. They'll be gutting to even harder now, and no one's going to stop them. By now, I think it freaked me out more if nobody was gunning for me. Let him come. I'll be ready. was involved in a frightening hostage situation. Tell us about it, please. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. But Spider-Man got involved and it... Totally unconcerned with your safety. Well, he did save me. Through sheer luck, you could have been brutally killed. Yeah, sure, but I, I could have been killed if he wasn't there. 
Let's refrain from unfounded speculation and focus on solid established fact. Spider-Man does not care if you live or die. 